Yo, what's good everyone? It's your boy. Welcome back to another video. Today's video, my boy DB Grinder. Gonna come over and guest upload to talk about one of the new best decks coming out in about a month that you guys need to hear. You guys need to see what this deck actually does. So before we get into this, I want you guys all to do me a massive favor. Go subscribe to my boy DB Grinder's channel. Go subscribe to the Pengad as well while you're at it. And on top of that, I want you guys to see the absolute greatness that is TruthGaming.com. So go on TruthGaming.com right now and get the most beautiful Truth Gaming playmats before you do anything, baby. And also check out the, the Truth Gaming coaching down description below. Anyways, without further ado, let's get into it, boys. It's time to showcase Sword Soul, Jang Jian, and the master of it all. DB Grinder, let's go. Hello guys, the DB Grinder here. In this video, I'm going to be going over my Sword Soul deck profile and also be going over three combos. If you like this video, make sure to subscribe to me. Also, make sure to go ahead and subscribe to Triff Gaming. I appreciate you for letting me do this video on your channel, man. Also, the most liked comments, I will go ahead and answer the questions. So make sure to comment down below if you have any questions about this. And with that being said, let's hop right into the deck profile. Okay, so for the deck, we have 40 cards in the main deck, 15 inside, 15 in extra deck. In the main deck, we have 3 Appears, 3 Mo Yi, 3 Prosperity, 3 Ecclesia, 3 Fusion Destiny. These are the main starter cards in the deck. These cards all allow you to go ahead and get to your Synchro or get you to your Hero Play. The Hero Play is very good because it gives you follow-ups through Celestial and the Hero itself. And the Synchro allows you to get interruptions while also potentially gain follow-up if you want it and then we have two tie and one Vrushuda. if you're wondering why there was one of this in the deck and i'm not playing more tenies i do not think the tenies are worth it i think the heroes are better and then also i want to play a solid amount of going second cards which is why i don't play the tenies but i do play one of this because you can dump it off the tie which makes it have good synergy with the deck and then also it's a worm and a going second card i wanted to have another worm in the deck i ended up cutting the tie for Vishuda. this works perfectly because it's a going second and a worm so now for the rest of the engine cards we have a dasher and celestial these are the bricks for the fusion destiny even though there are two bricks in your deck by adding this in i do think it is definitely worth playing these these cards are insane this is dragoon 2.0 and then we play two sudden shift uh, this card's pretty solid. Having two of it's very good because you can go ahead and synchro, add one, and then you can tie E, dump one, so that way you don't have to sudden shift, destroy your own synchro. You can destroy the token that will be produced off of this. And then we play three cross out. This card helps us be hand traps. Hand traps can be rough in this deck sometimes. And then also post side deck, this can allow you to beat the hardest card and that the deck has a problem with, which is token collector. Um, my list actually doesn't have a problem with the deck because my deck just beats that card i'll explain that in a little bit and then we have three moonlit one nib one droll two ash two imperm two valor and a talons so going over these uh we don't want to max out on these hand traps because we wanted to play different hand traps also for cross out uh, we do play 11 hand traps which is a very good ratio that keeps us around the 80 percent of drawing a hand trap going second game one uh if you're wondering why there's moonlit Two reasons. One, most people aren't playing this card in their deck with cross out, so this card just is uncross outable pretty much. And then also, this helps beat Token Collector. Uh, we play one nib, one droll. We want to be able to beat these cards with our cross out. And then we play one talents. I was playing two Vershuda at one point, but I didn't need that many worms. And then also, a lot of the times, what was happening is I was getting hit with talents to go ahead and like take my stuff and they were cracking my board like that. And I wanted my cross out to be better. Um, when I go first, but they don't have a hand trap and they just go ahead and talent me. Uh, these kind of cards could definitely change in the future for stuff like Droplets, Mystic Mind, other hand traps, depending on how the format shapes. Going on to the side deck, we have two talents, one order, and a token collector. These are the cards that you side in going first. You side in co token collector, so that way you can hit it with cross out. And then Droplet, Droll, Driver, 3 Gamma. If you're wondering why I don't play Gamma in the main deck, is because it conflicts with the hero stuff so it's in the side deck because going second you can always drop gamma because obviously they're going to activate a monster effect you can drop gamma on them and then that gets the gamma out of your hand uh so i just don't think this card's worth it in the main deck it was coming up way too much with the celestial so i cut it from the main and then three lightning storm one harpies and one twin we have plenty of back row destruction in this deck 
And then also we have stuff like Prosperity to help get to it. And then onto the extra deck, we have one Yazi, one Monk, one Baxia, Blader. We have the Tenyi, we have Dragite, Scarlet. This card's really good in time. Uh, if you're not playing with time, I'd probably suggest cutting this card. Um, you could cut this card for a few different things. You could cut it for Shooting Riser Dragon. If you're really afraid of the Mirror Match, you can go ahead and dump Token Collector. That card does not come up that much. You could also play a second floor. Uh, pretty much this card spot almost never comes up. And then we have two of the main synchros. One Anaconda, one Shen Shen, one Enforcer, one Duke, one Rose, and then one Floor. Uh, if you're wondering how you make Shen Shen and Yazi, it's because when the spell is banished, you can go ahead and increase or down a level by one. So that's how you make the Yazi or the Shen Shen. Also, if you have like Long Young and a Veiler, you could go ahead and go in the Yazi. Uh, or if you have like Long Young and a Moonlit, you can go ahead and go in the Shen Shen. Uh, so that is it for the list. Now, explaining the token collector ratio I was talking about earlier in this deck profile. So everyone says that token collector destroys this deck, and I think that is extremely wrong. I have about a 90% chance of beating token collector, so if I don't beat token collector, I just got unlucky. And explaining the math, like I said, we put in two talents, order, and token collector in going first. Usually, we take out a Veiler, Imperm, Ash, and Droll. Obviously, it depends on the matchup exactly what we're taking out. But let's just say we're taking these four out and we're putting those four in. So now we have three Talons, three Cross Out, three Fusion Destiny, three Moonlit. So that, that puts us at 12. And then Vushuda, which will be 13. And then three Prosperity. So we have 13 outs plus three Prosperity. So it's like 16 outs pretty much because we're always Prosperity for six. So. It's almost like guaranteed that we're going to see an out the token collector. If you don't, you just got unlucky. Um, if you're wondering how stuff like Talons or Vershuda is an out the token collector, um, it doesn't directly like out token collector. It allows you to go ahead and go for Anaconda and end on the hero. And I think that's pretty solid. A lot of the times if you get hit with token collector and then you go ahead and you like, even if you go ahead and like, talents to take it a lot of the time you don't have more token stuff to do you would have to have like a long young with something to discard afterwards and just like not be going into the synchro which almost never comes up uh, which is why i say a lot of the times you're just making the hero and the vishuda can come up if you have the mo yi uh, if you have to put this in graveyard for Taiyi, then that will not equal Anaconda because the Monk is not an effect monster for the Anaconda. So even if you go ahead and like bounce the token collector, or I guess like if you go ahead and like special summon, make Monk, normal summon, banish token, and they drop token collector, then you have an effect monster and a non-effect monster. So that's not going to equal Anaconda. But I think this deck beats Droll pretty easily. Now going on into the combos. Okay, so the first combo is going to be very simple. It is just going to be one appears, which is the Rota spell for the deck. So if you only open up this and let's say four hand traps, you can go ahead and activate and go search Taiyi, normal summon, effect, banish from the graveyard, summon out a token, and then slap those into the synchro and you'll get those effects. That will go ahead and add the trap and dump the trap. And then you can set the trap. Um, on their turn, you'll go ahead and activate the synchro Banish the trap card from the graveyard to negate one of their face-up monsters. And then the trap will go ahead and produce a token. And then you can sudden shift, destroy the token to destroy two cards they control. So just this one card gets you this. Obviously, if you open up a different hand, you can do different stuff. Now going on into the next combo, we have a Mo Yi plus any card to reveal. It doesn't have to be the trap. It can be any worm, any Xiong Gen card or Soul Sword card. So normal summon, effect, reveal, bring out token. And then turn those into the synchro and you'll get mo yi in the synchro effect obviously this is just a random draw you don't have to draw on the veiler um, go ahead and add the long young and then discard special summon bring out token and then slap those into the floor and then you'll get long young effect to burn for 12. this is a combo that does play into nib you don't have to play in the nib with this you can just go ahead and add trap and end on what we did in the first combo and now moving on into combo number three, we have Long Young, Mo Yi, and Tai Yi. And for this combo, you're going to summon out Mo Yi, effect, reveal Long Young, summon out a token, and then Long Young effect, special summon itself out, special summon out a token. You do this to play around Nib, because if you go for the Synchro and then do this, 
you'll be playing in the nib this sets up a negate on the fist summon and then go ahead and slap those in the floor you'll get a long young effect to go ahead and burn and then summon synchro mo yi and synchro effect draw and then go search out peak uh, this is a card that i am personally not playing in my list i do not think this card is worth playing but it is a card that a lot of people are playing and it's a pretty cool combo so you can activate peak summon out tai yi tai yi effect banish peak summon out token and then you get peak effect to go ahead and up the level and then you turn those into a shen shen and then you get tai yi effect to either dump sudden shift or vishuda depending on what you want to dump in that scenario uh, this combo is pretty cool, but in general, I do not think this card is worth playing. I personally would not play it in the peer list. Uh, I'm calling the hero build the peer list because I don't think anyone is ever actually going to play this deck in a peer version. Uh, in the 10 e build, it might be worth playing if you want to go ahead and play it. But this build, in my testing, I have not found this card necessary at all. And with all that being said, that is going to be it for the video. Again, if you have any questions, go ahead and comment them down below. The top like comments, I will go ahead and answer. And again, shout out to Triff for allowing me to have this opportunity. Thank you, bro. I appreciate you. The DV Grinder, signing off. Peace.